hi guys so today is the day that i finally get to do the video that i've been meaning to do for a long time and quite a few people have asked for it okay and so here it is finally so these are my braids and today i'm going to walk you through how i moisturize them and how i care for my scalp and the herbs that i use to supplement my diet so those are the three things that we are going to talk about today but allow me to start off by saying to you trust the process if you have decided to come this way if you have decided to to ditch the whole confusion that is available in the world today when it comes to growing out your hair and you've decided to you know go the ancient way congratulations to you because now you are finally on the right track and you are finally going to see results and this is not a guarantee that is being guaranteed by me no it's just the truth okay history proves this whatever hair type you have if you have come this way then congratulations because you are going to see results it took me a very long while for my braids to for my braids to look like this before while i was following you know the popular advice while i was washing and deep conditioning my hair frequently this is what i hope i do find a picture to put here for you guys to see just how my braids were looking and my hair was always very short so now i can finally see length on my hair maybe this is not too much to other people but it is everything to me because finally i am seeing length in a short amount of time no matter what i did before my hair just was never growing it it was just at the same place it was just it it, it looked very dull and it never had this shine because of the conditioners and because i had a spray bottle by the way, the first step in this journey is to throw away your spray bottle. Because your spray bottle is like that friend that you love very much. And every time you hug her, she stabs you in the back with a mischievous grin on her face. Okay? So just throw away your spray bottle. Trust me when I'm telling you that. So when I had the spray bottle and I was using, you know, the, the leave-in conditioners and deep conditioning and washing my hands and trimming my hands, when I was following that, my hair just never did want to accept hair butter alone because I was addicted to that feeling of a leave-in conditioner on my hair. My scalp was very itchy, like I went crazy every single day for like four weeks while I was studying this routine. Like, and my hair... It felt very dry, like it was just, it felt like it was rejecting the, the hair bud. Like a lot was going wrong. I could have easily ditched the whole thing. But I am so grateful that I hung in there and that I didn't give up. And I encourage you not to give up. Yes, you will experience changes in your scalp, changes that are uncomfortable. But stick it out, okay? Just outlast the storm, okay? and your hair won't look like this it will it won't look like this but maybe four to six weeks later you will start to notice change in your hair that is the transitioning process okay so that is what i wanted to first put out there that trust the process because there is no other way if you don't hang in there what are you going to do you are going to go back to damage so right now you are going to see a clip of me anointing my hair. I am going to show you the technique that I used to do it. And I am going to tell you guys how frequently I do
I just take a small amount and go over again. And then do the bunty knots again. And then put on my headscarf again. And go about my business. The reason why I put the anointed hair in braids is just that I'm avoiding too much oil on my face and around my neck. So that is why I just put it in braids. So it has been two hours later right now since I anointed my braids. Two hours has gone by and this is how they look. This is how it is with oil. You don't anoint your hair and it is immediately soft, okay? Like the, the, the braids or your hair won't be able to be very moisturized like this as soon as you put it. But you will feel the difference is immediately, maybe not immediately with bigger braids. Like I explained in the video where I turned my mini braids into this micro braids. By the way, this is what happens. You anoint this part and when you take the braids down, the oil has traveled. Okay? So you don't have to start right here because those balls will be bigger. When I had the bigger braids, it was even difficult for me to feel that, okay, as I am anointing my hair, my hair has picked up the oil. Like I would feel that maybe a minute or two later, okay? But with these micro braids, as you are anointing, you can feel that you can you have added something to your hair. Uh, after you braid it, whenever you take the braid out, you actually feel how soft. If you guys could feel my hair right now, it's a pity you guys cannot feel how soft it is, but it is very soft. Like, I want this feeling for every natural person out there. Hair butter is the right way to moisturize your hair, period. But we do not know this because we do not give it a chance, okay? You can compare how my braids were looking when I started. They were very frizzy and they were very dull. But right now, I'm just, I'm just happy. I cannot wait for when they are very long, okay? I'm very, very long. And that's the thing about me. Other people are using mini braids to grow out their hair. And my goal is to stay with mini braids for forever. Like, I'm a braided girl. I love braids. When my hair is very long, it will still be in braids. And one thing that I didn't show you guys in the clip is that when I take out the chunky braids and have a braid out usually, what I will do is that I will go to sleep with my hair looking like this and have no chunky braids on my hair. I'll probably put on a scarf or a bonnet and sometimes I even go to bed like this. And when I wake up in the morning, what I do is that I will take hair bath and put it in my hand like this and then do this and target the ends of my hair and go on and do this at the ends of my hair and now as for how i care for my scalp what i do in my scalp is that i leave my scalp alone i ignore my scalp guys there i said it i do not oil my scalp i do not grease my scalp i do not put hair butter on my scalp I just leave it as is. When I just washed my hair, when I just clarified my scalp, that is the only time that I put hair butter on my hair, on my scalp. And then the rest of the four months, I do not do anything to my scalp. Here is the only thing that I do. Every six to eight weeks, I take methylated spirits and cotton wool. I take methylated spirits, okay? and cotton wool i take cotton wool balls and this is what i do i go in my scalp and just cleanse it cleanse it cleanse it using the using the cotton wool and the metal and the methylated spirits and someone said in the comments that is in methylated spirits too harsh and that is how i felt too in the beginning you know i had those questions about ah methylated spirits in my scalp because I had seen this trick from a girl here on YouTube. 
Okay, I no longer remember her name. And I actually did more research on this. I just came here to YouTube and searched it. Scalp K, Mechlegged Spirits. And videos came out and there was this girl. She was going on about how good Mechlegged is for the scalp. Like, she was just going on and on. And I was like, okay. And I also read that they put Mechlegged Spirits on open wounds to prevent infections from forming, like, as in inside the skin. And I was like, how bad can it be for my scalp? Okay. And so I just trusted it. And I also remember that every time there is someone injured in a movie, they take a bottle of spirits, like a bottle of alcohol, and they pour it on the wound. You know, so I was like, but if you're skeptical about using methylated spirits, then use apple cider vinegar. Because I feel like it is widely accepted by a lot of people. While a lot of people are skeptical about methylated spirits. But what I like about methylated spirits is that it is cleansing. And it is, it is just vapor. It is not there. With apple cider vinegar, you will have leftover water in your hair. It will stay wet for like a few minutes. And with methylated spirits, it's just, it takes out the dead and then it's gone. Okay, so I like that about it. I don't like things on my hair. I don't like things on my hair. Okay. And let me tell you guys that when you are starting this routine, we are going to deal with itching and you are going to deal with dandruff when you are starting out, okay? Even I dealt with this. The itching is not normal. The itching will go away. It's just that you have conditioned your scalp to... You have trained it. You have conditioned it. Like, you have... You have trained it to know that every week... It will get washed, okay? So it produces sebum according to that frequency of you washing your hair every week. That is why it itches and that is why you are experiencing dandruff. Because your scalp is used to producing sebum quickly. Because that is how frequently you wash your hair. As soon as it notices that, okay, there is no water right now being poured in poured in poured in that frequently and so it is going to take that signal and produce less sebum and you will see less dandruff and you can just cleanse off the dandruff every four weeks with the methylated spirits i don't know guys i hope that you see can you see those flakes that are coming out i can see them flying off here okay I wasn't going to I wasn't going to see them if I didn't scratch off my if I didn't do that. So just do not scratch out your hair. So yes guys for your scalp just ignore it. Ignore it and I know that that is very that sounds insensitive or it sounds you know it is off putting when I say ignore it. But that is honestly it. The itching is not normal and it will go away. As for the dandruff, it won't truly go away because now you are no longer washing your hair as often. So obviously you have sebum flakes, okay? But every four weeks you can take your cotton wool and just... Or every four weeks you can, you can, you can put your hair in bigger braids like mine and wash and decide to wash your hair every month. And in between that, maybe at two weeks, take the methylated spirits and just cleanse your scalp. Remember, I said that in this channel, I advise that we wash our hair once to 12 times a year. As in every month, or maybe every three months, or maybe every four months, maybe every six months, once a year. So you can pick what is good for you. But I am saying that whatever you choose is what you are conditioning your scalp to take, okay? And if you wash your hair maybe every month, that is the end level. And if you decide to wash your hair only once a year, that is beast mode, okay? You will be retaining about 95% of your length. 
And if you touch your hair every month, you undo your braids and you wash it every month and put the braids back in, you will still retain about 80% of your length. And especially if you do not deep condition your hair, you do not put foreign things in your hair, you just put hair band and you braid your hair and you wash it once a month. So that is the advice that I have. And in between your washes, use methylated spirits. As for me, my scalp has gotten used to the fact that I wash it every four months. Okay. And now finally, let us talk about supplements and things that you can do to supplement your diet. I drink an herbal tea every morning. I've mixed the herbs from Dr. Sebi. I'll name them Simos, Bladderwrack, Tantalion Root, Nettle. And as for Ayurvedic herbs, I have Moringa and fenugreek seeds and black seeds so that is what is in my tea i grind them into powder i either fill empty capsules with the ground herbs or maybe i just put them in a in a glass jar and i just scoop every morning and put it in hot water and drink like that or i just take the capsules in the morning you can use a wide variety there are a lot of things that you can buy from the store as long as you are as long as you are supplementing your diet if maybe it is high in sugar high in carbs gluten you know all those things and finally in this topic of you know taking care of your body from the inside i just want to add that i drink a lot of water I have been a fan of two liter bottles for a while now like i always have one as much as someone might come to my channel and see how much i trash water you know someone might think that i have something against water i can't know just don't use water on your hair do not apply it on your hair gulp it down okay your body needs it stay hydrated at all times so do drink your water and take your supplements and use methylated spirits to care for your scalp and use hair butter to anoint your ends that is what i am saying in this video if i might add i just want to say that to you guys imagine if the the women from chad they all all of them they follow the same routine so imagine if maybe some of them resisted this thing of anointing your hair and braiding it and not washing it okay so imagine if some of them resisted it and say oh i have a different hair type we have different fingerprints so obviously your hair is not like mine but just do it okay and do not lean on your own understanding these things these ancient african ways the women who lived before us my grandmother and your grandmother they never had google okay so don't always be googling things and just when it comes to your scalp just do what i have told you just put methylated spirits in them and if you cannot wash your hair once a year or maybe three times a year maybe at least wash it every month thing but don't wash your hair every week and don't use conditioners and just trust the process that's it today guys thank you for spending your time with me and if you found value in today's video please give it a thumbs up i will see you bye